Rectilinear motion is a special case of motion where you're only moving in a straight line. We like to separate this from the curvilinear motion because we can simplify our equations. So if you have rectilinear motion, it means if you set an origin here, your particle can only move in one direction. So let's say after a certain amount of time, your particle is here at P1. After some more time, it would be here at P2. And let's just call this the x direction here. So this means that your initial position vector would be from the origin to particle at P1. So this would be our position vector R1. Um, and then our displacement between P1 and P2 would just be this change here. So this would be our delta R would be just the distance traveled from P1 to P2. Um, we also, because we're moving along the x direction, we can also say that our x value is just that same distance, r1. So our x would be from the origin to p1. Our delta x here would be the same as our delta r. Or we could define if we have x of t, we could say this is x at t plus delta t would be that whole distance traveled. So our velocity our velocity vector v which was equal to dr over dt since our delta r is equal to our delta x then our velocity is equal to our dx over dt, which is equal to x dot. So in this case, what happens is we can remove the we can remove the vector symbol here, and we can just deal with scalars. And so, in rectilinear motion, because we only have one direction, the direction is assumed in the motion, and so in rectilinear motion. We can simplify vectors to scalars. And this just makes our life a little bit easier. Now, we still would have, we can still have positive and negative values. So, in terms of position, if we have the origin here, moving to the right would be a positive value for our position. If we moved the other direction, we would have a negative value. So we can still have positive and negative positions depending on how the motion changes with respect to the origin. We can also have positive and negative velocities. So if our velocity is greater than zero, it means that our particle is moving in the po positive direction. our velocity is less than zero, it means that our particle is moving in the negative direction. For our acceleration, acceleration the ve with vectors is the change in velocity over time. But we can make the same simplification as before, and we can say acceleration is equal to dv over dt, where we take away those that vector notation. We can then write the derivative with respect to time as just v dot. Um, since we know that the velocity, since v is equal to dx over dt, we can actually s replace this dx over dt into this equation here, and we end up with acceleration is equal to d over dt of dx over dt, and then we end up with d squared x over dt squared, which is x double dot. 
So this is saying that v dot, the change of v with respect to time, is the same as the second derivative of x with respect to time. So far, all of our equations need us to require us to know something about this time, the change in time. Everything is respect to the change in position with respect to change in time or change in velocity with respect to change in time. But using these equations, we can actually look at these equations slightly different. So we know that acceleration is equal to dv over dt. But we also know that v is equal to dx over dt. If I rearrange this equation, I could say dt is equal to dx over v. And if I sub this equation back into this one, you end up with a is equal to dv over dx divided by v. If I rearrange this, you end up with v dv over dx. So here I could also say that acceleration is equal to v dv over dx. So the acceleration is equal to the velocity times the change in velocity with respect to the change in x at that moment. And this is really powerful because this equation gives us a way to get information about the acceleration, velocity, and position without using time. For positive and negative accelerations, it's a little bit more complicated. So now, if we have an acceleration that's greater than zero, this means that our delta v is also greater than zero. So this is saying velocity is increasing. That means that our particle is moving faster in the positive direction. Or our particle is moving slower in the negative direction. If we have acceleration less than zero, this means our delta v is less than zero. This means our velocity is decreasing. This means that our particle is moving slower in the positive direction, or our particle is moving faster in the negative direction.